refreshed yes. and rejuvenated. I like that storm wear. I saw. Yeah. Can I get one of those? I don't know. I'll have to find out. <laughs> a lot of things going on this weekend, too. Yes. Kiss a go go. That's interesting. And let me ask you something Martian poop. You know, I used to live in uh, Haddonfield. I don't know if your daughter, Croin, twins, are they twins? Yep, yeah, twins. They came home with Martian poop? I don't know about that. Well, I think I my know. daughter would love it. <laughs> I'm sure any <laughs> kid would Martian like something poop, like that. Right. I tell you what. <laughs> Nothing, uh, today was nice, despite the uh, Martian poop, <laughs> but uh, it was a nice day. Finally got some much needed sunshine, uh, yes. felt real good today. Let's check out uh, what we have as, it's a nice day finally at the beach. Yes, you can go to the beach. They, look, those waves are actually rolling in. Oh yeah. Ooh. All right, nice day, Memorial Day weekend closing in, the unofficial launch of summertime, exciting time of the year. It wasn't really a long, hard winter. It's been really a uh, long, hard May, as we've had just cloudy skies and occasional rain from time to time. And guess what? More rain in the forecast. And that ocean temperature is starting to heat up a little bit, starting to climb up to around upper 50. So put your toes in the water there soon. All right, let's check out what we have as far as uh, the weather map today. Uh, watching showers and storms that are building up across the Ohio Valley and uh, across the Great Lakes. This funnel system out ahead of us pushing the warmer temperatures our way that took place today. However, it will be in our backyard tomorrow. So skies get cloudy once again for tonight, but it's feeling warm out. That's a good, that's a nice feeling. Then showers and storms arriving here uh, later in the morning, but the best threat of some heavy storms now, possibly severe storms, would be after, let's say, one, two o'clock in the afternoon. So it could be a very active Active Friday afternoon, the showers and storms again, perhaps approaching severe levels. By that, I mean the possibility of some small hail and winds in excess of 58 miles per hour. And this zone right in here, especially across southern New Jersey, will be watching that closely as that front goes through. Now, the activity should be ending right around 5 o'clock tomorrow night. Showers and storms ending by 5. Don't hold me right to the 5, but right around there. Winds suddenly pick it up actually 15, 20 miles an hour during the day as we hit 70 degrees on the mainland, 60s along the shore. Saturday, get the day plans, outdoor plans in early. Some morning sunshine, then showers coming in, I would say after three o'clock on Saturday. Winds picking up 15, 25 miles an hour. That front will come sweeping through Saturday night. And look at the blast we're talking about, weekend cool blast, 59 degrees. For the high on Sunday, the normal high should be closer to 70, so that's unseasonably cool. We go down into the low 40s Sunday night, and then uh, along the short point, you can see still on the cool side, temperatures averaging in the low 60s right through next week, and the next threat of rain after Friday and Friday night and Saturday night won't come until sometime on Tuesday as the next system moves in. So all in all, not really, we had a nice break today. The showers and storms will arrive tomorrow. Now, some of the activity could approach severe levels tomorrow afternoon. Those showers and storms move out by 5 o'clock tomorrow. And then we set the stage for sunshine Saturday morning. Clouds come in Saturday, Saturday afternoon. More showers, showers after 2, 3 o'clock Saturday. Well, I say maybe 4 or 5 o'clock Saturday. Windy, cool Sunday, 59 degrees. All right. Thanks, John.